good one already. Yeah. You know, normal people would have done all this before going live, but not me. No, I like when I, I want to record all this stuff. It don't matter. That was four splinters simultaneously. Five, six. Ain't even started. That one there went in there good.
have these and a bit. I'm gonna say hi to anybody watching. I ain't even done nothing.
So it's a little inconvenient when you can't drive your truck back here to where you're working on the fence. Cause, so I got a, I got a mud bogging hole, which makes it lovely. I couldn't see the the farm animals. I could see the blue tarp on top. Yeah, I couldn't see them. This is the joy of my life right here. You know, I bought a tripod and it had been nothing but a headache. Mm -hmm. And I bought the expensivest one. They sold. To not give you a headache. To, to just go on by the big one and get it over with. And it's the biggest headache ever. So this is where I'm trying to do the fence or attempting to do the fence. So, you know, let's see what happens. Well, I wasn't exactly over there having babies myself. Like, I caught, I caught, I had a hard time Everything's heavy. Just one, Elvis. Just one? Yeah.
Oh, that's great. I gotta knock the mud off. The thing. So these are my corners. This is my pulling points. So I had to go buy a post today. I never get a splinter. And I done got 20. So be careful when you grab these posts. I expected that. <clears throat> Already getting you. Oh, they didn't get me since I was going to the woods. Have you? Okay. That's wind. Yeah. All right, get the level and hold it up there, homie. Put it up the side of it. Let me see it, baby. I don't, I don't know if you can turn it on. See the bubble right there? See it level? See the, see the water in between that? I know how to see a level. It's just, I didn't know which angle you wanted it. Look, see how there? Get it right. And let me put dirt in. You gotta check it both directions. Good. 
They're just having a festival over here. Do you need to go put long pants on? Oh, let me tell you. This ain't no easy little deal. This ain't no easy little deal.
something about me.
say that was it. Ta-ta, but that ain't it. Far from it.
easy, son. Somebody's getting her done. Two little things right here, four dollars a piece.
pants. Then I was trying to get all the thorns out of my boot. Yeah, they're tearing me up too, Judon. I brought some cold drinks. Let me give one. Woo! Been waiting my whole life. Uh, one of them bad boys. I've been waiting on uh, my whole life to get a hold of one of them. Granddad wanted me to take the ranger over there so I could bring him over here. Did he? Yes, sir. You be careful with that wood up in there, that thing will turn over. You drive slow. I'm talking about drinking a you who ain't never been so cool, you know? I was about to say. <sighs> that's the best you ever had. Your live may contain themes not suggested for younger audience and has been age restricted. You a bald faced lie. Look at this bull crap. Look at this bull crap. That's what I think about it. Can't do nothing. I mean, you can't do nothing anymore. I don't even know what you did. And they can kiss my fat A. Your video has been restricted for 10 minutes. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me I can't even do something. Can't even make $5. Uh, because, you know... Uh, can't even make five dollars making the video. Judon, pull over here and lace, let me lay some posts out for you. Go, drive on through him. Yes, oh, my God, I mean I hate to say that. My goodness, maybe they feel better. I wouldn't have it no other way. Shoot on all that place out there. Just drive anywhere to come over here. Oh. I'd like to follow you. Come over here. Uh, like, what are you doing? I didn't see the line. He's driving around like he's with his girlfriend. He's driving around with his girlfriend, like. <laughs> Maybe it feels better, you know? Maybe it feels better. Turn y'all over here for a minute. Maybe you feel better, because I sure do. Telling you to get a spinner like a mamma jamma with this stuff, boy. Need them two little ones now. 
Everything about this will get you. Perfectly sideways. Yeah, if it'll tear up, my old hands are tough. If it'll tear mine up, I know it'll get you. It'll bu 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 barbecue. All right, go get granddaddy and be careful. I don't want to get too pigs. You want any lime with that? No, I don't throw all my stuff off while you're gone now. I know it don't matter to you. You let the hide go with the hair. It's just not, uh, I gotta go get my stuff over here, I left it. Man, that had to be some kind of record. Oh. Oh, oh yes, I, I went straight to the wood. How about three trees down? Yeah, that's about right. You ever seen this? Yeah. What is it? I mean, it's a collar off one of the goats. Just a little thing here? Mm hmm. You sure buy it? Pretty sure it would. Yeah. Yeah, that was Luna's collar. It's laying in your yard. Dang, it fell off the buggy then. Sure did. I was gonna ask Tim about it. All right, but we need to tape measure from down there. It's down there. We need the post driver and another t -shirt. I'm just getting out of the house.
kind of plate best time around. We come out here with the most pollen in the possible world. Hey, uh, <coughs> I tell y'all some stuff in a minute. Get my breath, I walk from over to the house to open a chair. I was trying to get Bobby Bonnie to hurry. Yeah, Beaton was supposed to come out and get me. Well, I did unload the hose for you, Leah. And, and it's kind of top heavy with it in the rack. Man, I've been sick as a dog, man. I don't think there's no pollen. Day's first day, I even felt decent, you know. And I got whatever I got from Tammy. Now, I don't think I had no fever. Well, no. I think what I have is worse than what Tammy had because. <laughs> I said, man, I know you ain't went to work feeling like this. But you know, them women's pretty tough, you know. Oh, you can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to get out of the house. Or, I mean, for a minute anyway. Yeah, I'll be all right, y'all. A uh, lot better than I was yesterday. i tell you what happened, though. You know, uh, on Tammy's last video, we well, was saying that, uh, that I was going to do a live that night, you know. And so me and Tammy went to a a surprise birthday party. You know, we couldn't say that's what we was doing, but you know, when I got back, you know, we was about doomed, you know. <coughs> you know. I tell you what, it's the doggonest thing I ever seen. It was a, one of them low country bulls. And they had a big old pot. I mean a big one. And they took this low country bull when it got done. It had king crab legs and shrimp and crawdads and taters and corn and uh, I don't know what all it had. And they had grilled chicken and and other stuff, you know. I mean, they had other stuff. Pull it tight. What's it say? And, uh... 18 feet. They set this two tables up. Huh? And I actually thought it was crazy at first. That is not 11 feet, you know. <coughs> in the black area. Oh. It's 16. 16? Come this direction. All right, so they put some towels on the table and then put a, a, a cloth, a, you know, a, not a cloth, but a tabletop, you know, a plastic tabletop. Oh. And they dumped that, they dumped that low country boy all the way down that table, man. Oh, I thought, right it, I thought they done lost their mind. And I thought he was joking when he said, come up here and, Y'all come up here and like help make sure nothing don't fall off, you know, the table. You know. Stop pulling for the love of everybody. I'm holding pulling. it, Dad. You're pulling it, son. You ever seen the meme where you're holding a flashlight for your daddy and it says, if you, if yeah. you survive this, you can handle anything? Alien. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows what it's like to hold a flashlight for the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all you got to do is stand there and hold a flashlight. Can't even do that. Yeah, getting in trouble about that. <coughs> so, man, uh, you know, to pull that thing out on the table, you know, man, that worked good because uh, you could just go here and get what you wanted off the table. I, I like, so that was real good. Before I come over here, I 
guys uh, watching these card counting videos, you know. You know, I know what their mistake is, the card counters. I know what their mistake is because I used to do the same thing. Uh, and I explain it to you. Then you're moving around so much, you can't hardly keep you on the camera. Yeah, I can't hardly keep you on the camera. So, like when the camp gets right, and, and I used to do the same thing, y'all. When the camp, camp gets right, they can't help themselves but to. They, they, they can't even make themselves like bet normal. They want, they want that money. And that's what brings the attention, you know. And I used to do the same thing. I couldn't help it. I could not help it. I would win too much, you know. But that's the, that's the giveaway, y'all. You know, like the, the way they do in the betting. That's, that's the giveaway. But like it's, it's something about it, like I didn't even want to be there and play anyway. I just was uh, doing it for the money, you know? Like I didn't actually enjoy playing. And you know, and I think got my had it upside down, Steve. Oh, uh, there's a place I could go play now, you know. Oh, uh, you know, it ain't far from my house, but like, man, I don't know if I want to do that or not, you know. I mean, I thought about it. I know the guy good, you know. Oh, uh, a matter of fact, uh, uh, I sold him an antenna, you know, the building down there where they play at. They also, like, when they play and they have Georgia Bulldogs playing and all the college games, you know, the college games playing and all that. And I went down there and picked them up an antenna where they could watch it because, you know, and, and they invited me to come, but. Like, I just don't know if I want to do that, you know. Timmy don't like gambling. But I can tell you this right here. She sure do like the money. She didn't mind spending the money. She didn't tell me I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just ain't so sure if I want to do it, you know. You know, uh, I, really, uh, I'm afraid I ain't as sharp as I used to be. I mean, you know, I don't know. But, like, I'm really a little afraid of that, you know. I feel like I can play. But it's been, it's probably been 25, 26 years when I played. 
I, I won too much, y'all. You know. I won too much too often. What's my problem? Yeah, I hear you this year. I won too much, y'all. You know. But I, you know, and it's kind of crazy what I'm saying. I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to play anyway. And I just said, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to win. You know, like I didn't care. You know. I was thinking about this last night. I don't know why, you know. I don't have to have a reason to be thinking about something. Get the hammers, you're done. The hammer. Oh. Talk me into it. Not ready. Hey, Senior. Oh. Uh. Look, look at it, because I can't see it. You tell me it lined the whole up, Ben. Knock it through a little bit where you can see where it goes. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Please, Herbie. I tried. Hey, you got it, then, Benton. Okay, get the lid. I forgot what I was saying, you Oh, yeah. Well, I almost remember. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I almost remembered again. Yeah, I remember now. Well, you know, we would have people that come in, like new people wanted to play, you know. They actually knew how to play poker. But like the people that I played with were so skilled that they they couldn't play with us. And, you know, I mean, they just lose. I mean, they would they would wind up they would uh, sit there and lose. Four, five, six hundred dollars, and they'd quit. You know, I mean, they wouldn't even know how to win a hand. We would just, we would just rip them to shreds. You know, like take no mercy. You know, and we seen a bunch of them come in like that. You know that, that uh, a bunch of them. You know, and we all know that you get what you can get because they fit to be leaving. So you, you try to go ahead and get what you're gonna get. Don't cut them no slack because. They will quit. That's what actually where that, uh, you know, go lay a dollar on your dash. You know, you hear Stephen talking about every now and then. There would be people down there whining and complaining and, and hooping and hollering and tearing up cars and stomping and about trying to get in a fight. And I said, if you will shut up, I will go lay $2 on your dash to make sure you got cash money to get home. Because I would get tired of hearing that stuff. And I mean, I ain't joking either. I would get tired of hearing that mess. Yep, I did roofing. I, uh, it's actually, uh, actually my story is about the roofing deals. Uh, not many people's doing what I've doing. Uh, I was a drunkard, you know? And, uh, I quit drinking. And I went to work, work for this man for three months, roofing. Three months. And, uh, I, and then I started my own business, my own roofing company. And that's the, actually the roofing company that Stephen's got now. Yeah, there's a woman calling me up the other day, Stephen, wanting you to come over there. 
on Cullen Street. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Call me about two or three times. Hey, Sandra. Oh, y'all, uh, I doing that, you know, like within six months, you know, I was making money, boy. I'm talking about making some money. In six months, I was making some money. <clears throat> I was the biggest joke in town. I'm talking about everybody was laughing at me. <clears throat> and I tell you what I do. One of the roofers steps come over there, you know, one of the, you know, the real good roofers, you know what I mean? He's like, uh, you know what I mean? He, he had done it his whole life, you know. And, uh, he was better than me and everything. Yeah, I, yeah I'm okay. I, I say I'm worse than what I am. I am feeling better. I wouldn't be over here if I wasn't feeling better. But, uh, and, and $8,000 is a lot of money cash now, you know. But you can imagine what $8,000 was when I was uh, 19 or 20 years old. And they was laughing at me and all that and making jokes at me. And there was some more roofers and all that over there. And I walked right over there and got $8,000 cash in my hand that I had at home. I said, yeah, boys, I was laughing to all the way to the bank. And that's a true story, boy. Like, they shut the hell up whenever I showed them that $8,000. Yes. And, and like I can say, that ain't $8,000 today's money. That's when I was 19 years old. And, uh, and I actually tell you the secret, you know, what was my secret. Uh, Tammy feeling good, uh, uh, uh Lynn. She act like she's fit to take a nap when I started coming over here. Uh. I forgot what I was going to say, y'all. <coughs> oh, yeah. So these roofers was kind of rough-looking scandals, you know. But like, see, I wasn't. There we go, perfect. Hey, they got so mad because they knew more than I did. But like, I could get the job, there you go, perfect. That's the best one yet. and they couldn't. I could get the job. They all like old rough looking scandals, you know. Like people just didn't trust them, you know, like look at them and like just didn't trust them. And then I come along there, you know, talking like, and, and I'm actually pretty honest, y'all. And, uh, and hey, I could just get the job. I could just get it. Don't drill in line with the other Steve. Don't be hit. You're sitting up there right there. Well, the actual roofing business didn't do nothing but just get better and better, you know. As a matter of fact, it got up to where I had a bunch of people working. You know, I had to have a bunch of people. And we had to work seven days a week. I, I couldn't keep up with all the work I had. And, uh, I quit taking so much work. I just finally realized, don't be taking on all that work, you know? I had it. Where, like, you can't even, you know what, like, like where you can't even go fishing. Yes, son, he took it out of the
Uh, I quit taking on all that work, you know. And, uh, you know, started getting a little older. Flip that post upside down, Steve. Did you got any hanging? There you go. It's lined up now. I mean, oh, that's, that's pretty much it, you know. You got a few on this post? Steven had a good job, but he didn't like it, you know. Over there at the paper mill, he didn't like it. Hey, son, he don't know very much now. Tammy's been, been trying to get me to quit for five years anyway. I know most of y'all know that stuff, you know. But, uh... I had some stuff to get stole, you know. And it, it made me mad. I had a little money in the bank. Not much, you know. I mean, I thought it was a lot, but talk to me. There we go. Is it? Yeah, that fan there, Steve. You uh, you know, y'all uh. You know what's really important, and you know you, you, you hear, you know your mom and daddy, and probably y'all now. You know, you hear your mom and daddy say, "It ain't much you make," you know. But when you owe your money out before you even get paid. That ain't very fun. I'm telling you, before you even get your money, there ain't no need to like, gonna have a big party because you owe it out, you know? Just the cost of living's a lot, you know? I mean, even if you don't owe no house payment and all that, it's a lot of money, you know? Man, it's a lot of money. Groceries is a lot of money. You know, you know, there's so much land going on up there in Washington. It ought to be against the law. Now, I ain't talking about those average people. We ought to, we can, we can be law all we want to, but like somebody you're supposed to trust, it ought to be against the law for them to lie to you. You know, like a, a leader. Leave it. Where's that, baby? I think he's going to put the goats in here. Yep. Yep. That's right, baby. You want to get who? Uh, not right this minute, son. You think these ain't winning? Yeah, I've been drinking some of Bentley's. 
at the house. And y'all, I might get on there a little later if I feel like I actually got a pretty good bit to tell y'all. Hey, Tony, I've been going to tell you something for a week. I see you on there. Babe, it gets the tea posted. Here's a... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, every 10 feet. So, so get a tea post and lay up and finish driving. So there's a new movie out, Tony. You know, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is. But it's about the V machines. You know, uh, it's been out a couple of months. I just heard about it. And when you first get on there and start watching it, you know, you know, you say, like, yeah, I mean, this, this is dumb. But like it, you know, it it gets to showing you what they actually doing and how they doing it, you know. Oh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit here, Tony. You know how they say machines ain't up to the internet? Well, I mean they are. Oh, uh, now it. It shows a graph when they go in there and take control of that machine. Where red was ahead, blue was losing. Try to bear with me, Tony, about talking about this. So when they took control of that machine, the blue come up and pass the red. Like they call it the F, uh, the F symbol or something. It, it comes up and passes it, and then that blue stays ahead. Like, like the thermostat on your wall. You set your heater to 70. And it sits there and holds that the rest of the way. Barely ahead. And it, and it showed the whole state of Georgia. And it showed, like, man, I mean, it must have been 20 little screens at one time. On the, must have been 20 little screens. And every one of them was the same exact pattern. You know, like for the governor and for the, uh, the senators and everything. I, every, every one of them little screens, they was all the same. They all doing the F plan on the graph. You know, and I'm, man, I, I, hey, they showed so much. Like I got mind boggled, you know. Yeah, did you do it? Hey, Ron, don't, don't say the D thing. Hey, Johnny. 
Let me see what Joni said there. Uh, miss hearing your voice makes me my day to catch a live with you in it. Send him love. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I've been sick this week, and then, you know, I mean, Stephen ain't been, you know, this is the first day that, that he's actually doing something, you know, that he ain't right up at the camera, you know. And, and uh, you caught me just right today. And, uh, I'm feeling halfway decent, you know. But it sure was rough now. Uh, the last few days. I see your loners in there, but ain't ain't seen her yet. But uh, y'all, everything's going pretty good. Uh, you know, other than this feeling bad, you know, I ain't I ain't been doing nothing. Yeah, thank you, Miss Joni. Hey, Tony, don't let me forget to tell you the name of that movie. Like it's, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. I sit here and watch them today. You know, it's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You know, I went to sleep while I was playing, and you know, in my sleep I got mad. You know, I had it playing, and I got mad in my sleep about it. I ain't joking neither. So here's what they was doing. They doing something. They was doing something live today. Yeah, thank you, Alon. Good to see you too. And, you know, uh, oh, Biden took documents, and Mr. T took documents, but they're gonna prosecute him for his. But they're not gonna prosecute O. Biden for his. And I sit here and watch that stuff and listen to it. But, you know, like, Lady Justice is supposed to be blind, you know. Y'all ever seen that? I mean, I know you have. Where the where the Lady Justice is holding the scale, and she got a blindfold on. It ain't like that, y'all. Ain't like that at all. Hey, he put them posts up fast, didn't he? And hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. Yeah, I mean, I don't, hey, y'all, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, uh, Dave, you know if I know a bunch of this stuff, you know there's people that know what I know. If I sit there and figure it all out, you know, but but there's a lot of them that ain't saying nothing, you know. It sure is, MJ. It sure is. But you know, like I barely graduated high school, you know if I can figure it out. They just ain't saying nothing. I 
I'll actually tell y'all a little bit more about that, you know. Uh, if I get on there after a while, I actually got a pretty good bit of stuff to say. And, like, I'll get on there and make a prediction, you know. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know. No, I didn't, Miss Helen. I didn't. Uh, I normally would have, uh, Miss Helen. And I don't even know if Tammy even thought about it, but, uh, you know, I mean, I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't feel good. I sure as hell don't want to go up there and touch no screen. But everybody in the county done went and touched it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want that, that C, you know. Not on top of this mess I got. If you've been that tape, guess what you're going to have? You're going to have something useful. So I just figured it's like probably best not to go and and actually tell me not to go to. But like, this is just, this is nothing, you know, right now. Hmm. Bring it here. Let me reel it up. I've been waiting all my life to do it. It won't reel. Bring it here. Let me tell you how. Go and do it down there, son. Start laying out. Start laying out. Hey, y'all, I coughed so much the other day. Man, my stomach muscles are sore. Oh, and like, uh, you ever been so like feeling so bad you couldn't sleep? I was like that one night. I mean, I was sleeping, but like the the coughing and everything was. Man, that's an aggravating mess, man. Man, that's aggravating. Yeah, a team has been on there. Hey, Shirley. Tommy, I'm gonna be messing around and done bought a donkey. Hey, you partner. <laughs> Been to put them posts up, Steve. All right. Pig porkers, you know what? My grandma called me up, but she called me last night. I missed her call. I seen it about 11 30. You know, last night, and she called this morning, and you. I thought she was like worried about me and she was actually uh like having trouble with her internet, you know. That pollen went right too. I don't think that pollen bothers me, Steve. Yeah, those of you on this uh, other platform here I'm looking at here. Steven has a YouTube channel. He's got two YouTube channels. He does coffee with Stephen Hodges in the morning time. And then he, you know, no AM, you know, AM in the morning time. And uh, then at 10 o'clock 
he swaps over to Stephen Hodges' channel. And I know a bunch of y'all probably don't know who I am. Uh, I'm Stephen's daddy. I have a, uh, a YouTube channel myself. And sometimes I come over here and mess around with Stephen. Oh. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I usually get on there at night, you know, doing my videos. Well, we got we got people that stay up all night long. I'm not the only one. Let me get my chair. I don't know, Tammy might go vote. I mean, it won't bother me if she don't. There's a, you know what I was saying a minute ago, you know, what is your channel? My channel is Southern Ideas. Southern Ideas on YouTube. I don't do no TikTok. But it didn't vote in places, y'all. I mean, actually, if you go, you actually need to wear, you know, plastic gloves when you go in there and touch that machine. But you sure don't want that mess on top of this mess I got. But you know what I mean? Gotta go to the drugstore. Go, you don't about wait till it's getting dark. Hey, y'all, and I really don't know how this is gonna unfold. There's a, there's a lot that has happened, you know, and I know all of it, all of it. Hey, Slim. When I, hey there. Can't quite make the name out. Missy? Oh, hey, Missy. Oh. Um, I walked over here a while ago. That goat was standing in a chair on the front porch. And uh, I tell you this right here, y'all. They, they, uh, they're trying to shut the TikTok down in the United States. They, they're trying to shut it down. You know our leaders? And then uh, also, uh, also I seen like a man's wanting to buy it, you know. Well, you know, America man's wanting to buy it. Oh, uh, well, but I know that's been, that's been like going on about a week, you know. But like, you know how they are. Oh yeah, okay, I see that, I see that.
Hey, team. Hey, well, never mind. I don't care for it myself too much, Cindy. Stephen's getting Stephen's getting a, few, a lot of people, you know, from from TikTok, you know. Some of them wanted, you know, some of them wanted and appreciated. Some of them, you know, like just, you know, don't even want them, you know. You gonna leave the boat inside the fence, Steve? Yep. Hey, I, I, I understand them. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know what I mean? If you, you're being lied to, like, constantly. And, you know, I don't, I don't know how people are so foolish to believe Everything. Blooming sent me this. Oh, uh, yeah, I know it. 100 foot tape, yeah. I thought you had one that's, I thought you sent one that was more than 100. Well, she sent this 100 one. Mm -hmm. 100 foot. It's you who time. Hey, that string don't lie, does it? Nope. Hey, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, I mean, you tell me how people believe everything is great. You know, I, I watch the stock market, y'all. And the, it, it, the stock market's real leading, misleading. It's real misleading. <laughs> it's up half a, a point and stuff like that, you know. But actually what it is, is it fell off a cliff. You know, like, like years ago, it fell off a cliff. And it ain't near about up there where it was. It kind of, I said kind of reminds me of a man I played poker with. He didn't never lose much money. He would lose money, you know, sometimes. But when he would lose his money, you know, he'd have hips up there on the table. And when he'd lose his money, boy, like he would be, you know, grouchy and mad as hell. And, and uh, but, you know, be short to everybody and Start telling you how about how bad he was when he was in prison and all that. He ain't no trying to intimidate everybody. But like, 
and he would do that for a while, and then he would reach in his pocket and put three hundred more dollars on the table. And then he would be all right again. After he got over that, he would get his money out and he would be back, you know, like happy again. And that's just what I'm saying. A few years ago, the stock market went down and it ain't recovered. Uh, you know, and, and let me tell you how I know this. I have the idea, and, and, uh, and it's still an idea, I mean, but I do it now. But I had this idea of what I'd do is take this stock and put $20 on it. You can do that now, you know. And you can watch that $20. You can watch that $20 go up or go down. And hell, that $20 now is $10 on almost everything. You know what that means? That means if you had a million dollars, you would be losing $500,000. That's what that means. If, if 20 is losing 10, a million is losing 500,000. And that's, and, and, and I've had that money, them $20 pieces. And every one of them's down. Every one of them. Every one of them. And you don't know it won't get worse. running over a post. That boy don't know why he didn't pull that boat out there before he... Like the, uh, you know, the, like the Great Depression, you know. They was uh, I talk about the government and everybody. When it, you know, stock market's gambling. If you, in case you didn't know, stock market is gambling. You uh, know, the government was in was. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm worried about that. Uh, the government was in, uh, encouraging people, buy stocks, buy stocks. And I mean, you know, I mean, that's right before the crash, you know. I mean, like a year or two, I mean, man, it was great, boy. I'm, I'm telling you how it was. It was great. Like everybody was making money. But the the people that knew what was going on, the big people, they knew that it wasn't going to keep going. They started pulling their money, the big people. They started pulling their money. And um, actually, there's something I left out, you know. So you could like put up half the money on a stock and then the broker would finance you the other half. That's how good it was doing. <laughs>
That's how good the stock market was doing, y'all. You know. And it didn't, you know, it didn't happen like overnight, like what most people think. It didn't happen overnight. But like people was selling their stock, like for, you know what I mean? You know, a, a quarter on the dollar. So if I, you know, one of them stocks I got, I got $20 on, I could sell that and get the $10, you know? And that's what these people was doing. But I mean, they was just like taking big losses, you know? And then people started going to the bank wanting their money. And it was a, it was a, don't part right here soon if you're gonna be working right here. And it was a, a, a big ripple effect. But when them banks run out of money, Yeah, we need to put us a nothing right there. And it's been a while since I watched. I, I, I had studied a little bit so I could tell you all about it on my video. You know, my, you know, on my night video, but I think it took 20 years for that to recover, that, that crash. 20 years. 20 years is a long time, boy. I talked to a man that's about a hundred years old. You know, thirty years ago, he's, he was a hundred years old. And I always been kind of little, like I am, you know, like kind of interested in dumb stuff, you know, like stuff that don't. I'm just interested in stuff, you know. And I was asking him about the money, you know. He said, "Here's this is what he told me. He said, there wasn't no money. I, oh, uh, I wish mama's daddy, we could talk to him. He's seen it in color, you know? You want to speak to everybody's table? Yeah, he's seen it in color. You know what I mean? I mean, you know that's why he went to the Navy, you know? You know, like, so he could see in his family money, you know? Take care of his family. And actually, uh, I forgot about it, y'all. The, the war is what kind of got the economy back going, you know? You know, then, you know? You know, women was working and women was making money. Got things back going, you know. Solid. You know. I tell you what, I don't. You know, if we don't get that man out that's up there now. I don't know what we're gonna do.
They was a. They were bringing the post hole diggers in the left. I was watching the news the other morning. And they was taking phone calls. And I was sitting there listening to the phone calls. Hey there, Marty. And hello to everybody, y'all. Hello, good to see y'all. They was taking phone calls. And I wanted to pick up that damn phone and call so bad I couldn't hardly stand it. I just, I just had one question. I just had one simple question. Why? And, and here's my, here was my question, y'all. I didn't call, but it was my question. And we know they hate America. I just don't understand why the media don't say that. Why don't they say they hate America? I, I, I don't either. Uh, you know, you know, like they they usually get what they want. You know, but uh, like if you over there watching, you know, the fake news. And you see them talking good about something, you better watch out. You better watch out. Because they are against everything that we believe. Everything that is that that we that that we cherish. And oh, to our heart, they are against. And you sit there and you think about that. And there's people that don't know no better than that to believe all that. And then, yeah, I'm Stephen's daddy. And then, uh, you know, you, you think they're journalists, and, and they are not. You know, they are not journalists. They are opinionators, you know. And... They doing a whole lot of lying. Yeah, this is Steven's channel. Steven's behind the boat over there. He'll be coming this way in a minute. You on the right channel. They like, you know, like, you know, like the statues, y'all? The prayer in school. Y'all remember when you used to do the Pledge of Allegiance every morning at school?
Did you know you won't hear him talking about God? Remember the Ronco man that used to make all them products and sell? And he would have an audience. He would have a fake audience. Let me show you what they would do, y'all. Yeah. Here's what they would do on, on the Ronco. Like, he would have a fake audience there when he's showing a product. They'd be, they'd be telling me, Yeah. <coughs> That's what they would do, y'all. Have a planted audience. Oh, you like my hat? You see more fake audiences than you realize. You just might not know it. Last thing I'm gonna say about this right here. And you won't believe the words that come out of my mouth. I feel a little sorry for O'Biden because he's, he's, oh, uh, he's, he's being mistreated. I know that probably surprises a bunch of y'all, but he's being mistreated and he's being used. Him up. They not gonna take the fall. He's he's gonna take the fall, and he's not up to it. He's not he's not up to the job. Yeah, I'm feeling better. He's not up to the job, y'all. All right, baby, drive this. Yes, sir. Well, good luck. Talk about completely looking away. You know, uh, you know, I mean, let, let me tell you last right here. What if me and Stephen was down there manipulating, manipulating Grandma, y'all? What if we was manipulating Grandma and say, say this and don't say that, and, and you do this and you do that, and, like, that's abuse. Hey, Stephen, where's Bentley going? We got to put one more post on the other corner where I have it. Okay, sir. You wrong? No, I'm, I'm just going to be cut. I thought you was going back to the house. I'm going to cut out in a minute. Hey, so, that's why, y'all. Uh, you know, what he's doing, what O'Biden is doing, it's not him, y'all. That's not him. He's a puppet. And I don't know what you call it when you mistreating old people. If, if, if I was his wife, I will get him out of there, boy. Let him go live his, you know what I mean? 
he didn't go live his life, you know, with, like without being pulled like a puppet, elder abuse. Yeah. Hey, um, I, I, I ain't joking about that. You know, he has to read what's on that piece of paper. He's not allowed to answer questions. I mean, I, I've seen him cut his mic off. So actually, I ain't, I, I, I ain't joking. You know, I don't think he would be all this that what you see. But that's just the thing about it, is you ain't seeing him. You're seeing the puppet masters. Yeah, I mean, he probably does. He probably does. Oh, I, di I didn't catch what your name was there, but he probably does have that. You know, and you just, it's, it's easy to imagine that me and Stephen, if we are manipulating Grandma, and we got stuff wrote out on the paper for her to say, and, and she can't talk free, you know. And you are not seeing him free talking. You're seeing him reading. And I just think that's bad, 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 man. And, well, I'll even tell you something else, you know, that I think. They've kind of cut him loose. You remember how they kept him in the basement? Well, they've cut him loose. He's getting out more. And, and I think it's him getting out more is an experiment, you know. Like if he ain't gonna, if, if he ain't gonna be able to make it, you know. They wanna know now, you know. Y'all understand? They wanna know it now. I sure do. I think they got him out there, you know, to, to see what's going to happen. Hey, I, I guess we'll see, you know. Hey, Adam. Not too much, man.
Been on that couch for a week, man. And just, you know what I mean? I've been sick, you know, I still am. And I can tell just from sitting here talking, you know, I done about used up my energy, you know. No, it's not, oh, uh, I'm already sick, but like the, the temperatures, I mean, it ain't cool or nothing. Steven gets back up here and we'll cut loose. Welcome back down to the house. This stuff he's been doing, y'all, that's a lot of work, you know. What? And y'all, if, if I get back to the house, get rested up, I might get back on, you know, get on Southern Ideas about, you know, nine or 10 o'clock tonight, you know. As you gotta, you might be thinking like, well, he's done told us everything. I hadn't either. I hadn't either. There's a lot going on, y'all. Well, I'm already feeling better. Hell, man, this time yesterday, boy, I was like, good God Almighty, man. Boy, I was feeling rough now. 59? Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, y'all, I mean, you know I me, mean? Stephen and I will come, you know, uh, you know, go back to the house and film, you know, y'all, I don't, I mean, I don't, he's probably not fitting to get off, you know. You know, I'm gonna leave when he gets back over here, but he's liable to stay on, you know, to nine or 10 o'clock or something, you know, you don't never, you don't never know about him, what he's gonna do. You never know what he's gonna do. Yeah, thank you, PB. Yeah, I've been trying to rest up, but like I, you know, I might as well have been resting because I wasn't no good for nothing else, boy. So that that last video Tammy doing whenever I was out there in the yard with her. Oh. It hadn't fully hit me yet, but like the next day, well, I'm, uh, matter of fact, that night, I did go to that birthday party. Uh, me and Tammy went, and, uh, but anyway, look, hey, I'm, I've been sick as a dog ever since. Hey, y'all wanna, Steven's back, y'all. Hold on just a second, Steven. Hold on just a second. All right. I want to tell y'all, I enjoyed uh, talking to y'all. I uh, appreciate y'all coming in there. Got a big crowd. Uh, I'll be on here later on tonight if if I feel up to it. And uh, y'all, y'all uh, take care. We'll see y'all next time. Team, folks. Uh. So I got my feet posted up. Around my perimeter. Down to bend the hot. You ain't walking, are you? Yeah. You want to drive down there? You got that trailer, sir. Yeah, yeah just take Granddaddy on. Put it in four wheel drive going through that mud over there, though. Okay. Yeah, y'all go ahead. So I got my T post put up, uh, and I got my pull points right here done. You have to do these corners right here because when you're pulling wire, it does not, <laughs> it does not want to cooperate. But if you got these right here, these babies will get her done. So, uh, 
So this is the back side right here. So the, you know, my babies is gonna actually have a pretty big spot now. Uh, they're gonna be able to run around. Might even get me a donkey, you never know. But I'm gonna have my pens right here, my chicken pens, they fenced in as well whenever I get this right here done. But I gotta do some cleaning up. I need to get these trees right here, get them logs, and I need to have a fire is what I need to have. But they got a pretty big uh, spot. Pretty big area. <laughs> Look at that one post Bentley put in down there. Look at it. <laughs> That's the only one I let him do. Hey, watch that tree. <laughs> he just hit a tree. So I got this in here. Oh man, that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. And my goats is gonna love it. So this will be fenced in. Uh I mean it ain't no pasture or nothing like that, you know, but it's a start. It's a beautiful shaded place. My uh, my babies will, will be safe and they'll be in a fence where there can't no predators get to them. I can turn my chickens out. Might even buy me a donkey. I said it one time, but I'm serious. I just might put me a gate right here on my access road. If I tie my gate into my post right here, save me save me buying a bunch of posts because uh, you got to have a gate. So I'm actually a post short. Uh, I got to have one more of these posts right here for my gate. Uh, but yeah, I got to check on that. I got to, I'll get the fence up tomorrow. I hope uh, maybe I can handle it. Man, we got us a walk. We got us a good little walk. I'm excited. I know my babies will like it. So, uh, one thing I got to keep in mind when I go get me a gate, uh, I got to have a critter gate. So, to wire it. The wire that I'm putting up right here is this stuff right here. Tough. Stay tough. Uh, for my goats. So. Heck, I might even get a few more goats. Ain't no telling, is it? Ain't just no telling what I do. Gotta, I can. Uh, hey, you just never know, you know. But they all have a pretty place. It won't be long, baby, and I can let you out. You can go run around and do your little flips and tricks. and Life's good, you know? I'm talking to you, baby, yeah. I got some empty pans right here, so uh, you never know. Something might be coming, something might not be coming. But I got them. Well, reckon we can walk out this bad my pajama. And you find a room to nowhere, and you're trying to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened with that memo right there. Crying out, heaven save me. Somebody sent me a water hose. I opened it today. I don't know who sent it. But, uh, I need... Shoot. 200 more feet at least. So I got, uh... One, two, three, four. I got 400 feet of water hose already. That 
that's feathers right there. Woo, that's feathers of some kind of bird, not a chicken though. No. Uh, so let's see, oh, there's where the, there's where the water hose came to. I told him to take it through him far as it'd go and that's what he done. <laughs> Woo! Oh, shoot, I don't know if 200 more feet would do it. I don't really know. See that little rascal came through him. Let me see how he done it. <laughs> I heard him say he like not to made it. <laughs> Oh, he wasn't playing neither. <sighs> now y'all can't see nothing. I can't see nothing myself. <sighs> Found a cedar tree I didn't know I had. A cedar. There's a cedar tree. He, <laughs> he got it wrapped all through the wood. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Help me. Boy, he, he told me he had a hard time coming through him. I believe it now. Hmm. <sighs> Woo. Whew. Lord. Talking about making me earn it. Woo, I know I made y'all sick, but I did the best I could. My little pear tree. A little pear tree showing out. Woo, I don't know when we're going to have some pear pudding, but it's coming up. <sighs> Man. <sighs> Sorry, I'm going to have to hold y'all down a minute. My arms is burning like a champ. sitting. Woo. I asked my mom to make it. I ain't sure. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Woo. Heaven save me and I'm down to one last breath. Oh, let me just knock them. Let me just get them away from me. Oh, my goodness. Whew. What's a pear pudding? Well, <laughs> it's like applesauce, but with pears. Put it in a blender. Have you some pear pudding. It's what I like to call it, anyhow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, normal people might call it pear preserves, but yeah. <laughs> Steven, did you get that hose today from me? Blooming. I sure did, girl. I got it hooked up. So I got one, two, three. I got 400 feet running across there, and I probably need two... I mean, I know I need 200 more feet for sure. Whew. But I mean, it, you know, Daddy talking about, you know, digging a line and putting a hard line into the chicken pens. I mean, that'll come. But right now, I just need to get water over there to them. Uh, I mean, I ain't had no problem getting water to them. I've been hauling them in my big tub. Two more 100-foot hoses. Yeah, that, that for sure. Did you get anything else from me today? Um, 
I got a big box from Thelma that had all kind of goodies in it. Um, that was the only thing I got, Bloomin', the water hose and Thelma. Yeah, <laughs> Thelma. <laughs> what Thelma sent. Man, ain't it beautiful when a friend, when like a plan comes together? I talked to Cool Hand Luke this afternoon. He said he was too tired to help me today with the fence. He said he had a rough day today. But uh, he told me he'd come tomorrow and help me do the, put the fence up. Uh. So, you know, y'all get to see him tomorrow, and he'll come help me out. And, uh, whew, I still got to get my stretcher. Uh, I still got to get me a stretcher for the fence. I mean, when I say a stretcher, I got to get two boards and screw them together. And, uh, And then I'm going to use my buggy and the chain, and, and I'm going to stretch that fence. But, man, I'm telling you right now, that fence is heavy, and I still don't know how we... I mean, I know we're going to move it and all that good stuff, but I'm telling you right now, that fence is no joke. That roll of wire is real heavy. Yeah, so I got my corners... I got my corners put in. Today, that's what I did. Got my corners put in. I got my, where I'm tying off to the existing fence. I got me some posts up right there. And I got me to, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I got me the clips, staple clips to fasten the, fence to the wood posts, so I got all that. Whew. No, Austin is a done deal. He's, he got him another job. He moved on. But cool and Luke's coming tomorrow. Whew. When I try and find a nowhere Song to me. I've seen people use come along and stretch fence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I got the buggy. And I got to come along. You did amazing job, goodness, outdone yourself. Stephen M., I'm amazed. Well, thank you, girl. Thank you. It's good to see y'all. Good to see y'all this evening. Oh, $20 super chat. Thank you for that. I don't know who sent it. I appreciate it. What's going on? My truck ain't running. Oh, uh, you know what? Why are we sitting here? Oh, wow. Okay, Bloomin', I'll be looking for that, girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Uh, they say the problem is right here. They circle the problem. Might be true, but, you know. Who's keeping up? I'm 
I'm six feet from the edge. I'm thinking. When you find the road to nowhere Well, you can scratch tapping the starter off the list. So, <sighs> that'll be a negative. I mean, it's the starter bad. Like if it's clicking and if you short it out at the solenoid there and it don't crank it, then it's the solenoid. I mean, uh, not the solenoid. It is the, uh, that's the biggest ant I ever seen on my camera. Big old ant. Ooh. I mean, like, you know, what do you do, you know? Mosquitoes is just, they're just trying to do a number on me. I don't even know what my battery's on. It's got to be low. What? 35%. We've been getting her done, ain't we? If the brush is in the starter. Hey, Danny. Yeah, you know, if the starter won't kick over and then you go up there to the solenoid and you short it out, you know, you can put a push button start on a Ford. And, uh, you know, it's not cranking at the solenoid up there, so I just need to buy a starter and put on it. Woo! 
I actually need to buy a starter for my Corvette because uh, I got one of them high compression starters, gear reduction starters, and this thing got now where I'm having to bump it about every time I go out there to crank it. And I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be having to bump a starter with a pipe or a hammer. So I actually got to buy two starters. That's winning. What's going on, everybody? Well, I bet I sleep like a baby tonight. Look at my lights out there, Al. I got a gap right there. Right out yonder. Where some lights is out. I need to go out there and put some new ones in them holes while I can see them. You can see that gap when I'm up here on the porch and it bothers me. It's like, why come it just can't? Why come it just can't do right? You know? <sighs> but I want to appreciate y'all watching, you know? Love y'all. Love y'all so much. Appreciate you watching. And uh, thank you for the thumbs up. It's getting dark anyway here. But I love y'all. And uh, I'll see y'all into morning. Into the morning with Coffee with Steven. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Thank y'all. Have a good night. And I'll see y'all a little later. All righty. <laughs> yeah.